Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebBro.com and today I'm really happy to show you the website for a very well-known Japanese filmmaker named Tao Tajima. So I found this website when I was doing um, my rounds one day. I visited WWW Awards website and it was the site of the day. So December 13th I saw this website for the first time and it's a beautiful website. I'd like to just give a quick shout out to the awards website where I do a lot of research and I find a lot of really cool, um, you know, a lot of really cool um, new trends in the web design industry that I might not have ever found without this website. So I appreciate their work. Uh, right here we see Tao's website. It's a beautiful full screen responsive with embedded video, uh, just a home page with very few options. You can check out his Facebook page, his Vimeo page, click on About if you want. There's a hamburger that all it does is takes you to About, essentially. And then you've got your two options to go forward and back. So being a filmmaker, he's really only concerned about showing you his projects. That's really all he wants you to see. So let's scroll through here. And you saw that beautiful transition. And then you're looking at another video. And so you click on it, you see the transition, and you're looking at another video. So since his videos are so beautiful, it makes it easy for this website to stand out. Um, I'd love to just show you his style. I guess it, it would be cool to just show you his style since we're looking at his website, we're looking at all these cool videos. Um, what I'll do is I'll take you right to, I'll show you right, I'll show you this video, it's a really cool video. It just, it just showcases, I think, his, his artistic style and his ability to use these technologies, like I think he uses Adobe After Effects for this project here. So let me show it to you now. Yeah, it's called Night Stroll. So let's watch this together. So you're just combining the elements of urban videography and then these After Effects animations, which just look beautiful. All right. So anyway, that, a lot of his a lot of his work looks a little bit like that. Um, so. Let's go ahead and take a look um, at the responsive design because it's really beautiful. This website looks great on a full screen desktop like we were just looking at it. It looks great on an iPad, look at that. You can click through there on an iPad and it looks beautiful on an iPhone 8. So it just resizes like it should. Let's show you the very simple elegant source code right here. And you'll see what we're, what you'll see what we're looking at is a HTML website, All right? Very, I mean, very simple, but designed very well. It's just beautiful. This, the CSS really, I mean, it's just really well done. We like to look at the source folders and get an indication of how the website was built. And let's do that here sources and we can see it's 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 not um, it's not a cookie cutter you know templated website this is a very well made uh, well designed and developed website by a professional it's a custom website with CSS uh, folders HTML JavaScript and this isn't something that you're just gonna slap together with Squarespace or something this is a beautiful website right here um, a team of designers definitely spent a lot of time building this website. So how did these transitions happen and what are the technologies running this website? So like I always do, I went to builtwith.com, I typed in the website taotajima.jp and we see it's running on an Apache server, all the normal stuff, Google Analytics, site tag, and then there we see this really cool thing called GSAP. You don't see, I don't get to see GSAP very often, but I'll show you what it does. HTML5 and JavaScript work together uh, with this GSAP technology to create some of those animations and transitions. 
CSS is going to be why the website has this uniform look through through each of those transitions when you're scrolling. But it's this GSEP technology that's really cool. So let's check it out. Right here we can see greensock.com is this is the company that developed this GSEP uh, technology. And um, what what it what it is here? Let's go right here to their homepage. What it is is a series of plugins that developers can download, and you can work with these plugins to create these. Where are they? Plugins for GSEP to create these different transitions and things. So I'll show you one of them in work in in operation right now. It's right here. See how it says scramble text plugin? It sounds simple enough. What this does? I'll show you what this does right here. Hold on, sorry. Show you what this does right here. That scramble text plugin does this. Um, if I can find it, where is that? Examples. So this is an author's website to sell a book. And once we get through this little so that's all GSAP. That animation right there. And once we actually get in here, it just takes a second. So, so this right here, how this, see how that it just scrambles? That's it. That's literally all that plugin does. So you can add that to any of these properties, any of these text properties, and you can imagine how that would how that would be pretty cool, pretty cool thing to be able to do. I want to show you some of the other animations that GSAP is capable of. Here's a whole website that's animated. It's a it's a website to advertise a kid's application for tablet or phone. So you know how kids are always like playing these games on their phones nowadays. So look at all these web look at all these animations, all these web animations. This is all this GSAP technology. Looks beautiful. When you combine that technology with cool music, a good vision a good site map um, and great artwork, you get this kind of a result. It just looks so clean and professional. So you can see how I'm kind of, I'm doing that. I'm moving that around. So, and all these animations are all of these GSAP animations. It looks great. Okay, I'll show you one more example is we looked at that Google um, artificial intelligence application called, uh, what was it called, Draw? Uh, what was it called? Yeah, I think it was called Draw. So watch this. They are taking that data, all that data set, and they've animated it like this. Watch. So it's that same set of data, the same artificial intelligence, the same technologies, but then you run it through some GSAP plugins, and you're able to do something like this. Um, let's see. Let's draw an axe. You ready? So here's an axe. Draw the line and then the axe part. See? So I drew an axe, and it just now told me, well, there's your axe. So here, let's draw a big circle and see what it says that I drew. See that? It's a potato, way to go. Pretty cool. This is really cool, you could draw letters. So watch, I'll draw my name, watch. M, A, T, T. Even in script, it even recognizes in script. So I think it's really cool. Beautiful, GSAP. So lots of love right there, I'll tell you that. Cool, so you guys, thanks for coming back. It was great to show you this beautiful website for Tao Tajima, the GSAP technology, and the WWW Awards website. So thanks for coming back, have a great day. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Facebook, and you can find me on LinkedIn. So have a great day, talk to you soon, bye.